Hi and welcome to day 15 of February. The idea is that you watch the daily guidance video here at Love Life Drawing and then go to the Crocky Cafe channel and do their daily practice session. So you may have heard that it's good to learn to draw not only with your wrist and fingers like this, but to start to move your whole arm. And there's nothing wrong with drawing like this, but being able to use your whole arm opens up a lot more range of motion and different types of lines, including bigger, smoother lines. So let's look at how to actually do that, what can go wrong and how to get over those challenges. A small drawing surface is going to push you towards just using your wrist and fingers. So an easy minimum size for your practice drawing. If you're drawing on A4, try to fill its height with the pose rather than drawing in just a small area of it. If it's A3, you could get away with poses that fill the width, especially for short poses. But it's also good to sometimes go larger and fill the whole page. So those are some minimum sizes. How much larger you go beyond that depends a bit on your materials and the time that you have for the pose. Like if you're using thin fine liner pens, it might be hard to fill up really big sheets of paper, especially if you only have a few minutes for the pose. Drawing flat on a table can hinder the marks that you wanna make. It either encourages you to kind of hunch over the paper so that you can get a good viewing angle on it, or if you don't have a good viewing angle on it, you're gonna have a skewed view of your drawing and the proportions are gonna be off. So a board or a sketchbook leaning against the table, something as simple as that, or of course an easel, or even a sketchbook on a raised knee could work too. So it comes fairly easily to put down marks on the paper with your fingers, because that's how you write. And then you get more range of motion. You can do more lines, longer lines, when you bring your wrist into it and you start to move and rotate your wrist along with your fingers. And then when you move on to bringing the whole of your arm, moving from your shoulder into it, you can start to do lines of all sorts. You can do big, smooth, flowing curves that are so often useful in figure drawing. And that is one of the main skills that we're gonna to look to add this week. Just before we continue, if you haven't already got our free guide to life drawing and our really useful newsletter, check them out at lovelifedrawing.com slash life drawing success. Also, let us know how figure is going for you in the comments and use the hashtag figuary on Instagram. Guys, if you don't normally draw like this, at first it's gonna feel weird and your drawings may even get worse at first. And you might even think those guys at Love Life Drawing they don't know what they're talking about. Every new skill in drawing starts with the hump. It's a struggle, it makes no sense. In fact, it makes things worse than they were before. But if you can get through that part of the learning, you'll come down the other side of the hump with a new world opening up to you. Here's so today, the during the practice session, try engaging more of your arm to make big, flowing, smooth lines part of your figure drawings. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you tomorrow.